everything the light touches is thine kingdom. As long as you use the proper claiming techniques. Tis mine realm. Or at least what what is it so far? I have lots of plans, I tell you what. And everything has been going according to plan. Yes, indeed. Except these freaking vines. They are going anti-plan. So I must destroy them. What is the best way to destroy vines? With shears, of course. What you cut sheep with. You don't cut them. They give them a haircut. I go through shears like butter... Well, there's always plenty to do around here, so I gotta keep moving forward with, forward with things. Yeah, I thought these would grow down. I thought that'd be pretty cool. But nay nay. Ouch. Nay nay. Gotta get scaffolding. So good. Are shears even freaking good at Freaking clearing freaking vines. Gee, Boliva. Now, is this a different biome? That, it must be. Because the, the green is different. The green is different. Beach. Jungle hills. Ah, uh, beach. This is the beach? This is like a little island inlet. That's why there's like sand everywhere. So weird. It's just like a little, little puny biome. But it's like hilly. This is a beach. <laughs> I'm not a jungle cat, I'm a beach cat. I like to use the extra sandstone I get and make pyramids in random places. Out further in the world instead of my, my own base. I wonder if this is a problem for anybody having to trim tips of pyramids. It's, it's got to be somebody's business. <gasps> oh. I do want to deconstruct this monstrosity, this absolute abhorrence. Ugh. Can I make it? Woo! Hardcore parkour. Yeah, get, the, get rid of this thing as soon as possible. Jesus Christ. And then we can also even keep going down to clear the, the old barn, which was the first building that I had to make in this server. I knew it would be outgrown someday. I knew that mostly because it was made of wood. And of course, stone bricks are the superior material. I mean, their hardiness. Have a creeper blow up on one and nothing barely happens at all. But also the... The essence of what it is. It is stone. It is carved stone. So solid. And I really want some vines on there. <coughs> Baklava. Horseradish. Alright, it works. My voice box. For I am not human. No. No. Wow. You gotta try that. <clears throat> oh. Inward. Inward. Saying things. You can get all sorts of timbre. You can get really high and get really low. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> but another good thing about inward some things is inward whistling. So you can whistle outwards. <laughs> or you can do it inwards. Uh, I'm a little weaker on it just by itself, but I do do it if I'm doing a long succession of whistle notes. You go. 
It's hard on my <clears throat> on command, but let, let, I gotta warm up. So that was inward and out, but missed some notes. But uh, <laughs> whistling. What the fuck? Oh my god, this scared the poop out of me. Gotta change my diaper now. Fuck. They come from the skies. They come with claws. Ferocity. They are terrifying sounding. Dang, I thought I sleep pretty often. <clears throat> Mittens. Milu, milu, milu. I hear spiders. Do you hear that, Mittens? Oh, they just said yes. Did you see that? Oh my god, the cats can hear me. Is Mojang watching me right now? Mojang, Notch, don't don't watch me with these cats. No. Mittens hears all. Mittens is good. So I've gotten a Fortune 3 pickaxe back. I didn't mention in the last video. I lost a bit of equipment. Actually, I got most of the stuff I that I pretty much all the main equipment. I, I had some enchanted armor. I guess I got I got that back too. So I got most of the stuff. I got most of the stuff back from falling in lava, but except the most valuable item of all, which was the Fortune pickaxe. I had a Fortune 2 diamond pickaxe. So it was tragedy, and I knew I knew I needed a level 30 on a full enchantment table to get Fortune 3 as a guaranteed um, enchantment. So I had to get that EXP back, and I did that by breeding animals. They've been hanging out in this barn, but now they're in the pyramid by themselves, really lonesome like. But I'm making a new home for them here. It should become cozy. Give them a little bit of dirt, which will produce grass, or I'll make sure it grows grass. And then, make, give them some, some uh, sunlight so that the grass will grow. So the windows, which I do want more windows and I want more things to like break up the very smooth endlessness of these pyramids. That comes with time. It's all, all kind of comes together as like a fragmented puzzle just kind of slowly all comes together oh I hear the spiders spider wow where do you loom you freak freaking eight-legged freaky all this construction has provided too many dark spots for creeps to creep around with not just creepers, but the creepy crawlies like the spiders. I mean, they ain't no regular sized spider. They're freaking huge, I tell ya. They're like mega sized, jumbo sized. Duh. <laughs> Computing. Error. I told you, human, I guarantee it. That's a promise on a half. 60% cat, 40% hu-ro-human, human robot, no, robot, human, human, robot, ro human. Ever watch I Am Poppy? Let's, let's see how the animals are doing. <gasps> There's a spider, I knew it. I knew it all along. Can't, can't fool me. Come at me, you. Got a torch? I hit you with a torch! Just go! Stop harassing my aminals. They're just aminaling. They're freaking their own business. I, I told you. I told you. I told you now. I told you again. Oh. The torch is a powerful tool. Only a true ninja. I got some weird growth. But I'm not, I'm not not down with it. I'm down with it. I'm okay with it. Trim down the cows. Got some sheeps. I got the duck. What are you looking at me for, duck? Don't look at me up and down like you know me. 
Yeah, I trimmed down the farm because I didn't want to deal with so many animals. But now it's feeling a little empty. Because now there's actually a bigger space than they had before, too. But this is just temporary. I just want to admire them for a hot moment. Goodbye. You're trapped. You're trapped forever. Never can escape. Good. They can shush their pups. They can paw their faces off. So I'm still figuring out logistics with this base. Like, things to put where and stuff. Yeah. This could be a pathway, I guess. Because there's going to be the three pyramids here. The three pyramids! It's a new novel by Sexy Cat. Three pyramids. So yeah, this is this is coming down. So I I, I emptied out the animals, aminals. Sorry, I accidentally said the right word. Aminals lived here. I once protected many a thing here, but now it's no longer, no longer here. Until I I mean it's here for now. Until it's not here anymore, which will be soon. I intend it to be. A freaking chicken's still in here, bro. Didn't you hear? There's a demolition order going on here. We're we're taking care of the place. Don't even putz around like you ain't know it. You saw the memo. We posted it on Facebook for like five months. You don't use Facebook? Well, that's tough luck, man. You gotta sell your privacy, your data, in order to get these orders to know what's going on bro Facebook is gonna become a government entity or it already is it's like a social programming platform when it ch when you can choose and pick what becomes shown everywhere I mean that's the idea of ads there's some kind of power there. There's some reason they're paying all that money to have ad space. We take in these ideas. It's like any idea is like a... Like a virus. <laughs> virus. It's like when you hear something, you either think, that's not true, or... No, nah, that's true, wow. Or... I don't know about that yet. You might have to think about it. And then you, that's your, like your, uh, your design of your, your reality. It's like a whole blueprint. And you have to, it does like, does it fit here? If you have all these different beliefs, it's hard to add certain beliefs. It's like a building like this. Sometimes you gotta take down old beliefs. Now this is a question. If we are always limited, if, like in the way of our senses, we can only input a certain amount of things. Is truth possible to be perceived? I mean, and we have cognition, obviously, we can think and process things. But how could we see truth? How can we know truth, I guess? You could, there's another way to look at it. Especially if you think about truth is so reliant on other people, I guess. Maybe not truth, but just beliefs and thoughts and ideas. Like, somebody tells us something, so we believe it, essentially. We trust pretty much everybody. We trust things that say, like, hey, 99.99% .99 people say this. You're like, oh, that's probably true, then. If 99.999%. How easy is it just to say, hey, this is a poll we did. What in the fray is that block doing up there? And it's grassy. That's odd. Odd indeed. Not natural at all. Definitely bogus. Bogus AF. Deconstructing old buildings. Deconstructing old ideas. I believe there is truths. But I think truths are very fundamental. And everything else is kind of... 
think we live in a kind of sort of a way to a view it like a matrix or like a computer program. And we're rendering our own version of it. So something can seem true literally to one person and not the other because they literally have a different rendering. You know, they might be getting the same code. You still have to produce your reality for yourself in order to see it. And so how does consensual reality work and all that? It's complicated, but it could be simple at the same time. You could look at it as every, if everything is one thing and division is illusion, and then everything is just happening to itself. Then there is no d differences in illusion. I think we're just here to experience, we create our experiences. Our experiences are a reflection of our current thoughts and beliefs. It is a mirror of, of our inside world. And we just develop. We just we have these experiences that shape our inner world. And when our inner world changes, then thus our outer world does too. As a mirror does. Yes, Mr. Sheep, you like what this is going down? You like this traction? Breaking down? It's very good. Bamboo? Pretty cool. Took me a while to find the bamboo in this biome. But now I love it. Because you can make those freaking weird scaffoldings, which are still kind of weird for me. I still am in a, a mindset of like an older update. Trying to think the last thing that was updated when I played. Probably like water temple things, water monument things. So there's like a lot of new things. I mean, I've been playing every update. But not necessarily recorded everyone. I've been trying different servers and stuff. And this server rules. I love it so much. It's so fucking cool so joyous I've given things to people and gotten things from people like so much it's just like it has this very much like camaraderie feeling when I tried this other vanilla server it's just um completely vanilla and there's no anti-grief like mods I guess this has mods it's vanilla except for like anti-grief mods which let you protect a place so a person can't destroy it which is pretty cool but on the other server, <clears throat> really sucked. When somebody would discover your base, you don't even want people to find your base. I mean, sometimes people were nice. Sometimes people just raided what they could find. And some people were just assholes and would just trash. One dude just destroyed all my treasure chests. And just left everything like hanging out. Luckily, he wasn't there long enough to make the things despawn. But I was just like... It was such a hassle to clean up, and like I could have lost stuff, and maybe I did lose stuff. Or they'll steal all your good stuff, you know. And people use software in game where you can find chests, x ray shit, bullshit. So even if you hide your chests really well, I want to say my technique, but then I don't want it revealed, so. You know, I don't play in those kind of servers anymore, but. A lot of people had a lot of different ways to try to <clears throat> get around x-raying, but it's tough. I mean, it's a freaking x-ray. It's like freaking lasers. Lasered! Yes, deconstruction is going well. Very well. It feels clean and open. Very nice. Is this pyramid big enough? It's kind of like an extendo pyramid because it, it like extends this one, but it won't pierce this one. I'm trying to think where I should have it go back in on itself. Because I could have it go pretty far. I 
feel like it's far enough where I should just eliminate all this earth around it anyways. I think I want to look at it. Oh, I got to deposit my shiz. I'm fully shizzed out. Sheboingle. Mittens, you want a steak? I don't know if, I don't think I can feed you. I can feed you, but it doesn't do anything. Me schwittens, schwittens. Okay. Stone. Cobble. A lot of cobble. A lot of cobble to cook, I tell you what. Out of carpet, why is that here? I shall lay it. Meow meow. What the hell? A cozy little pad for you. How, how about you come over here? Can, will you follow me? It's, it's chill. You can chill there. That's cool. It's cool, Mittens. A cool cat. Everybody wants to be a cat. Cause the cat's the only cat. Knows where it's at. A lot of different kinds of wood. Would you be my neighbor? And more stone. And a site. Nope. Okay, we could deconstruct more, but I wanted to look at my base from a distance. And kind of get a... Use my imagination. Use my... Augmented reality lens. Of my imagination. To see reality, but also see the potential. There's a lot of sand. It's already there. So I probably shouldn't me mess with it. It's good to leave some natural features. But the really awkward, high, dirty, dirt area kind of blows. So it's okay to eliminate that. I was trying to preserve it. I was trying to make like a little garden with it, but I don't think it works. Really want this to be the main pyramid. I don't want to distract too much from it. So I want that earth on that side, but you do kind of want to hint that behind it there's even more. We'll also see from the seaside. In which direction is this? South. The south side. Oh, the wheat is very grown, it's very good. Yeah, I've been clearing this out. Because I want a path from the sea. And I want to say this is closer towards spawn. A little dock. It's cute, huh? It's not. F is this not fully loading from there? Nice. This is a good entrance way for this. So yeah, this is going to be replaced with a pyramid. From this side, definitely. Th I think that'll look good, though, with everything else. But the farm... Man, I already moved to farm once, but I think I thought about making a glass pyramid over it. But I don't know if the land really grooves because it kind of juts out. Whoops, that was a big drop. Yeah, I don't think that's good aesthetically. I think got to move the farm, move the farm again. Mm-hmm. But to where? And I don't necessarily need, 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 need it because I have food forever. But I just like to get EXP from breeding animals, so it's a really good way to get EXP. Really, like, efficient. Fast. Yeah, because it's kind of blocking the entry when you come up there. Maybe I should also, instead of making this low bridge here, well, I do want to knock out all of this. This whole mound, which is, like, my huge... Alternatively, I could just make this go up higher, but I think it looks more epic the lower you you come from it This is not necessarily in the, even in the way from this entrance 
It's just kind of it's not like anything special. I want to figure out a use for all my bushes too. I was thinking about making like hedge, hedge like animals or stuff like that. I could put just bushes all over the pyramid instead of vines. That totally could work actually. I was testing that out with some other pyramids. But vines are pretty dope. Pretty cool. I've been needing to fill this bucket for years. I should probably upgrade my armor. I actually have a decent amount of diamond. Probably worth. I get diamond armor pretty late in the game. Usually just when I have an overabundance of diamonds where it's like dumb not to. Otherwise, I really need my tools. I need my tools always having back backups of backups. Although now, if I find diamonds now, now I have the highest fortune pickaxe that I've had yet. So I would get even more diamonds, the most diamonds. And this game slowly gives you diamonds because if you vote, they give you a diamond and you can vote once a day. So that's one diamond a day. It's pretty nice. It's something. Hmm. Hear the sounds. You punk? Where you going, bro? I did not invite you. What did you manifest from? Okay. I'm feeling groovy with this. Deposited all my carved stone, of course. We'll just uh, carve a little more of this. This music reminds me of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's sister location, the ballerina song. It's a really cool melody. I think Scott Cawthon is a composer. I want to say he writes his own music. He probably he probably <clears throat> commissions it out now, but. I think he's just a jack of all trades. That's like me. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, stone. I could probably get pretty far up on this pyramid. Be very nice. Excellent. Bro, get out of my cornfields, you freak. No manners. Oh, I get water now. I just remembered it, so I want to get it. Yes. Just in case. If you're on fire. I think fire used to be more lethal in the old versions. Which I'm, I'm glad they if they did ease up on it that they did because I feel like before it would like if you touch lava you were almost like guaranteed dead but I don't think that is anymore even with full iron armor I feel like but I feel like with full iron you're like pretty safe now I could be totally wrong though okay let's see how tall this is didn't I do it four isn't this a four high It's only three. I feel good about four. I think it should be pretty tall. Mm, maybe I should do three. Three would be the same. No, this is a two. Okay, three would be a, a different rate, which would probably be worthwhile doing. Could also put bushes on these little corner spots. I was going four over here. Unless this was already here. I don't know. I'm not a shish kebab. I'm a cornflake. I'm a pterodactyl in the sky. Alright, some old fabrications needed to deconstruct. Open this up a bit. Oh, I had to seal this off for the monsters. 
Monsters came and tried to slaughter my animals. My animals kept dying. I don't know why that scared the poo poo out of me. Oh my god. It's dead. <laughs> we'll gather too many things. Too many things for me. Mr. Chicken, you're my only friend here. Sheep, you are nothing to me. You saw me fall. You're a disgrace. How did you just tear that up with your legs? You f possessed freaky sheep. Getting out of here. Never trust the sheeps. I dare say. Oh, I already started turning on there. Yeah, that's fine. How, how I'm going to deal with it intersecting this pyramid, I have no idea. Well, I guess what's overlapping I can clear. And then this pyramid will be lower, so the animals will stay down there. That's groovy. Love it. Okay. Only a little bit of the old shell remains. The exoskeleton. Shedding the old thought forms. Glass is breaking. Wood is breaking. Almost all is cleared except that little block there. What the hell is it doing there? Yes, I believe this can be constructed quite briskly, I do think, yes. Quite swiftly, quite gently. And beware of the skeletons. Did I kill it? I don't remember. But the, the cow through the freaking pyramid? That's crazy. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just thinking how I should make this the pyramid. Okay, this is the center. Should measure it. Go over like over there. Don't know, and it should probably be even so it doesn't look wonky. Yeah, I have to make some kind of measurement. It's kind of choice here. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna measure out from here. Not counting yet at all, it should. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thirteen is a pretty cool number. I like thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Six. Sixteen. Sixteen is pretty cool, too. Oh, shoot. Six. Sixteen. How much? <laughs> hmm. I like where this ends up. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It needs to be like seventeen. So I'm using that as a little marker. Yeah, there needs to be a block in the middle, so if I want I need like an odd number, I guess. Well, it's, it's 17 and plus 16 will be the total width. So 33, that's like just like the other pyramid. It's like this pyramid. So that one's four high. Okay, that's dope. This works out perfect. Excellent. Oops. Not the ugly stone. The pretty stone. Have you ever had a hamster? I've never had a hamster. They seem pretty cool though. Is this only too high? One, two. Look at my shoe. Tree door. Shut the front door. Yep. 
you know, I'm, I'm kind of down with the idea of putting these bushes in these little corner nooks. Because it gives them a, a purpose, and they, it looks okay. Looks good. It just gives them a freaking purpose. This is way high. That's three. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get those freaking bushes. Just too many of them. How many do I even need? The aminals must stay. You must stay trapped. <laughs> Forever. Okay, this is really coming together. 